Hello, everyone. This is Eric from Coffee, Beers, and Bowties, and I'm excited to announce the beginning of our entrepreneur interview series called The Inner Brew. Inner Brew is our way of connecting with you and connecting you to our community. The way Inner Brew works is something like this. If you are an entrepreneur or industry professional in the coffee, hair and grooming, or men's fashion space, we want to talk to you. When you agree to an interview with Coffee, Beers, and Bowties, we break out the kit and come to you. The kit is our collection of coffee brewing equipment that you will use to make us a perfect cup of coffee before we get started with the interview. Hence the term, inner brew. Don't worry, I'll be by your side with a few great brewing methods to make sure we get it right. We will set up multiple brewing options from the collection just in case you want to try them all. Trust me, brewing coffee is fun once you get the hang of it. Here we have a French press, V60 pour over, an AeroPress, a Chemex, a gooseneck kettle, and all the coffee condiments we will need. Now we can get started. I'll give you a quick rundown on what each piece of equipment does, and then you pick the brewing method you want to try. Then you get to pick which whole bean coffee you want to brew from our coffee selection. We'll measure the appropriate amount of beans and pause right here for a quick photo op. Gotta love the socks. And this is my favorite fedora from Keith and James. Okay, we're back. The next step is to grind the bean. You get to choose from a manual grinder if you're looking to get that full coffee brewing experience. Or you can choose the electric grinder if you want your coffee like right now. So here we go. You will take the coffee beans and put them into the grinder of your choice and grind them to the recommended consistency. For this example, we're using the Chemex to brew with. So you will place the filter into the opening and use hot water from the kettle to rinse the filter and temper the glass. The next step is to put the coffee into the filter. Make sure you get all of that coffee out of the grinder. Nothing is going to waste around here. Give the Chemex a little shake to make sure that the coffee is evenly distributed. In a circular motion, you apply enough water to barely cover the top of the coffee because we want to give the coffee about 15 to 20 seconds to bloom. When that process is done, you can add the appropriate amount of water to complete the brew. You can smell it, right? I know, coffee smells so good. If by chance you are not a coffee drinker, no worries, we can brew your choice of tea as well. Don't give me problems, give me solutions. And that's it. The only thing left to do is to pour a cup, have a seat, and let's talk. For more information about how to schedule an interbrew for your business, contact us at www.coffeebeersandbowties.com. Join our discussion forum to become part of our community. Follow us on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. I want to thank you all for watching. I look forward to meeting you at our next interbrew. Be well and be safe.